Okay, so for everybody that wants to learn how to do follower names and donations and all that on your Twitch channel and show how the box pops up with all that in OBS, I'm going to show you guys how to do that real fast. Uh, you want to go here to Twitch Alerts. It's twitchalerts.com, and once you're signed in, it will be right under Stream Labels. You want to go here, and you want to click Download Stream Labels. And that will download... And once that's downloaded, it does all this. Let's see what else happens here. All right, this pops up. So when this pops up, this is your Twitch alerts. This shows you all your followers, all that stuff. See, it shows everything. It pretty much does everything you need it to. You want to go to settings. And then you want to go to file change output folder. Uh, you want to put this somewhere that you're pretty much, you know, where, like, you want to, you have to make this folder. So when it starts up, you're going to go, just put it on a desktop, right click, click new, click folder, like this, and just say Twitch Alerts. Double click on Twitch Alerts, click select folder. I'm not going to do it because I already have it set up somewhere. So once that's already set up, it will do, um... It will put all these all these files right here in a certain folder. Like this is all text folders. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually have to go to this folder. So let me find out where it is. I think it's here, but I'm not sure. Actually, we'll just make another one here. We'll go to new folder, Twitch. I'll just name it TW right now. I can't even do that. I already have one named. I'll just randomly name it something. So we'll just use that as select the folder, save and close. Make sure you click save and close. Now we'll go onto the desktop and click that link right here. And here's all your things that you picked right here. I don't use all these. I use a couple of these and I'm not exactly sure what I all use, but I know they're there. So after you have all this installed, you're going to go into OBS and you're going to go to add text and you want to separate this so say you want a follower of uh just say latest follower we'll do that latest follower uh you want to type that right here latest follower this is just going to be your text this isn't going to be showing who is the last person to follow you got to have that on there and that'll be on your screen i don't know if it's actually showing up right now yeah it's there but i don't know if it's like yeah, cuz it's oh, okay cuz it's white I'll have to make this big for you guys. Okay, this is what I typed in. We'll make it bold so you guys can see. Now what you want to do is you want to make another one. You want to make another text document. This one's going to be follower uh, name alert. Now you want to go right here where it says use text from file. You want to click browse. Now you want to go to your desktop or wherever you saved your folder at. It could be wherever. Look for that folder. I think I named it ET or something like it. Yeah, right here. And now you want to go to what is it? Um, session follower account, most recent follower. Re most recent follower right here. And then we click the color we want. And you could even do use custom text effects use an outline I don't use I use the outline but see as you could tell it threw up my last follower on her which is lag sour I don't I he was followed earlier so that's my latest follower right there and if you want to do it for donations these are the only two that I know of so I'm gonna show you guys real quick okay we'll say donation latest donation Change the color so you guys can see it. That'll be right here. Now you're going to want to make another uh, text document. Donation alert. Use text from file again. Now you go down to... I got to find this one. Session, most recent donator. Total donation amount. It's one of these here. It took me a while to figure this out. 
Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do weekly top donators, weekly top donator. There's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, I gotta look for this one. All time donator. I think that's what it is. Donate. Okay, no, no, no. Donation. Um, it's somewhere around here. Donation. Latest donator. That's what I do. I think. Let me just double check it. Monthly donation amount. Session donation amount. Session most recent. Total donation. I think I clicked total. No, total donation amount would be the all the money that's been donated to you. Uh, donation latest amount. All time top donators. Okay, we'll just click don donation train latest donator. I think that's what it is. And that doesn't show up. So that was a complete fail. All right, we'll figure it out here somewhere. It's somewhere around here. Actually, let me go here. Because I know it's right over in here. I have it set up. Uh, let's see here. Game capture. Let me turn a web camera off here. Okay, that's the one right there. Most recent donator. I knew it was one of them. Okay, donation alert, browse, go to most recent donator, right there, turn that black so you guys can see it, make this bold, and voila, right there. So there's the two right there. That's how you do that, and if you just look around on it, you can figure out what else you need to use, and those are the two that I use, and usually pretty much everybody else uses too, so I hope that helped you guys out, and hopefully you can see that actually. But uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Have a good one, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment.